So what are DVD regions? What do DVD region codes even stand for? Today on the Dark Who Guide, I team up with Luke Reviews 76 and together we're going to make it all clear for you and show you why knowing what region your DVDs are in could actually save you some money. So stick around for our tips at the end. It's all that and more is coming up. The best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who. Hey guys, welcome to the Doctor Who Guide, helping you grow your Doctor Who knowledge, your collection, and your connection with other Doctor Who fans. And today, I am teaming up with Luke Reviews 76. Well, hello, I am uh, Luke Reviews. Now I'm super excited to be doing this because while Luke does know a lot about DVDs and he has a great YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to down below, we were talking about this video and we both realized that we actually have uncles who look nothing like us, who are professors of DVDology. And so we figured now would be the perfect time to bring them on the show. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, have my uncle go first. Yeah, we'll go into that right now. Well, hello there, peoples of the internet. My name is Halibut Patterson the Floyd, but you can call me Hal. My knuckle-headed nephew, Alex, who thinks he's gonna make it on YouTube, but hey, I give him two years maximum. I told him, look, your channel, it's it's, it's okay, but you, you really need to get your ugly mug off for of there, and you need to get a beautiful face like mine on there, and you're gonna see the views, you're gonna see the subscribers, you're gonna see that YouTube all raining from the ceiling because of this beautiful face. Now, you may be wondering, what is a DVD region? Well, that's a great question. It's actually kind of confusing so we're gonna start at the beginning basically a region is an area of land right something that you are standing on right now chances are that's a region okay different regions they're different countries they're different parts of the world they're all over a DVD region is a couple of countries basically generally most notably okay so the main reason that DVD regions exist is so that you can't play one DVD from one country in another DVD player in another country and that is basically due to the fact that movies and TV shows sometimes come out in the countries prior to when they come out in other countries and they don't want people just going online and buying DVDs and sometimes in some rare cases it actually helps the, the copyright holder. Now the first thing you need to know about DVD regions is that you gotta be able to keep track of six colors. It's much like a Rubik's Cube, okay? Now you gotta be careful as you're listening that you don't go ignoring Uncle Hal. Or they don't go phasing out, starting to think that you know, this doesn't apply to you, or that this is boring. Because uh, let me tell you, as a professor of DVDology, I have so many students that just zone out on uh, Professor Hal, on Uncle Hal, and they don't listen to my words. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, they will back up and the brain snap into position. And finally, they see the light of day, except it's too late. Because all of a sudden, the DVD looks like this. And they say, oh, Uncle Hal, explain it to us. Please, I don't understand the DVD regions that were jumbled up in my mind. And I say to them, too bad. Uncle Hal was here for you. And you went there for Uncle Hal. But anyway, they finally listened to me. And all of a sudden, the pieces, they start to come together. They start to form like the Rubik's Cube. And all of a sudden, they just, it clicks with them. And it's the most beautiful moment as a teacher. Because all of a sudden, all my work, my hard work, it all comes together. And it's beautiful because that's really why I took this degree of DVDology and it's something that I hope will happen to my my nephew my delinquent nephew Alex because uh, someday I just hope dear nephew that your brain will someday look like this and then you will understand it and see the beauty of life and the meaning come together but it's so much easier if they just listen in the first place so how do you know what DVD region you're in, okay? The first thing you're gonna wanna do is discover what country you're living in. Now for me, I find a quick Google search will just reveal that information to you. You just say, what country am I in? And uh, assuming that you actually live in that country and that you're not on the LAM, then uh, you will find the country of your residence. All right, so once you know that, you'll be able to figure out what region is yours by listening to the words I have to say to you, okay? There's six major DVD regions. Region one is these types of videos. I just happen to have a pointer with me. You may think it's an umbrella, but actually it is a pointer in disguise. These DVDs are what region one DVDs look like for Doctor Who. Now, your DVDs are probably region 1 if you live in the United States, Canada, 
the US territories and Bermuda. Okay, if you live in any of those four places, then your DVDs will play only in those places of residence. Okay, now we're gonna cut over to Luca, uh, whose uncle, who is also, I hear, a professor of DVDology. Well done, sir. And he will be telling you what countries uh, DVD regions from Region 2 are in. Are they still watching? I don't blame him. I got a beautiful mug. Region 2, the uh, best DVD region ever. Why? Because it's British. Now I have, a, I have a condition where I speak in different voices occasionally. That is why my voice will change every now and then. Now, like a Rubik's Cube, regions are very confusing. I'm sure Alex will have, or will indeed, or his cousin, co uh, uncle, will have explained exactly what a region is and why they exist. Let me adjust my moustache. I have a condition as well where my moustache starts to fall off. So do ignore it if it does happen. By the way, folks, definitely stick around for more mustache bloopers because, uh, believe me, there are many and they are just comedy gold. Comedy gold, I tell you. I am about to read you everything that Region 2 includes. Europe, except for the following countries. <coughs> Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Madalov, Georgia, America, Azerbaijan, Egypt and the Middle East, Japan, South Africa, Greenland, France and Guinea. That is Region 2. So, I hope you've been uh, Joy Region 2. Alright, just to help you visualize what you have just learned, I have this beautiful infographic here. Now, if you look at the uh, the red areas over here on the screen, you've got uh, the Region 1. And then if you look at the uh, the orange areas, orange, orange, orange. Alright, those are the Region 2. I mean, they're the yellows over here, they are the Region 3. So, if you live in Southeast Asia, South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, or uh, Macau, then uh, you, you will have Region 3. DVDs. And then the region 4 is the green for here. Alright, that's a region 4. So if you live in Latin America, except for French Guiana, uh, New Zealand, Australia, Caribbean, Oceania, you have region 4 DVDs. Congratulations. And then we've got the things that are in blue here. You see those? Those are region 5. If you live in South Asia, Afghanistan, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Africa, Except Egypt and South Africa, Central Asia, Mongolia, North Korea. Then you are in Region 5. And then over here we have 6, which is the purple ones. Alright, and if you live in the mainland of China, your DVDs are Region 6. Another thing you should note is that you can get DVD free region players from places like Amazon.com, and I'm sure you could find some on eBay. DVD free region players basically allow you to play DVDs from any countries that we have listed. All right, uh, let's move on. How would it like to own a Region 2 DVD? Well, <clears throat> you'll be fascinated to know there are, in fact, five different ratings. Six, if you include cinema ratings, but I don't. Anyway, there are the following. 18, U, Universal. 15, PG, for Parental Gay Dots and a 12 by the BBFC. Now, if you own a Region 2 DVD, you may notice that the actual plastic that they are manufactured in is a stronger plastic than a Region 1. Why is this? Well, British people are better. It's just a simple fact. Now, you may be looking at these and going, well, what's... how do these sum it up? Well, here are the many different types of Region 2 DVDs, if you will. This is a standard format. I should bring it out for closer inspection. As you can see, it is a simple open and close case with very satisfying sounds. It works by two clips on either side and works rather well with the spine and the top. This is a black Jamaica DVD. Now, if you have a look at this, this is something called a slip case. This is another type of Region 2 DVD that we do, in fact, have in this beautiful island that is called Britain. And here we see examples of box sets. 
Now what is a box set in Region 2, you may ask? Well, it can vary from Monty Python to Dad's Army. Now, what would you like to own one of these masterpieces? Well, I'll tell you what, it, you feel like a right, 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 good person. Why? Because it's British. Okay, so I've told you about my knucklehead and nephew Alex. Well, this is his wonderful brother. You should hear his guitar music. He is amazing. He's a brilliant nephew. And he told me this joke once. And he said, you know what, I don't think of the 4th of July as uh, calling it the 4th of July or Independence Day. It's more like a, hey Britain, you're not my real dad day. And uh, that's what we like to call it. Okay, now get out of here. Get out of here. Now, I don't quite know what you have. How do you, how do you American people say? Oh, of course, across the pond. But here, our DVDs are preserved. They are almost like a wild creature. I, I am in the process myself of running a zoo for these creatures. The zoo is going to be about five foot in diameter and will be a place where DVDs can frolic and play and live a normal life and not be on the shelves of places like Tesco. You may be asking, why would I do this? Well, it's because, how do you put it? I am a good person. Why? Because I'm British. And why British people good people? Because they're always right. Edit this bit out, Alex. I'm just going to have to readjust my moustache. He's not editing this out, is he? No, he might not. DVDs. The actual discs that are in these, they will have the rating of the actual disc on them. Also, the spines have the rating on. So do you American people did not have to think to put on your DVDs. Well, I can tell you now we have them on our DVDs and they are the best thing that you can see. Because when you look at your collections on yourselves, you will see the rating and you can know if it's suitable for children under the age of five. One final thing. Certain points on DVDs will shine. These are special, very, very special things, because now on the close inspection, the shine actually reflects what the DVD has, and that, my friend, is true masterpiece. So, I hope I have enlightened you on what these DVD regions are. Well, at least what it's like to own a Region 2 one. God save the Queen. Alright, so now that we know what DVD regions are and how to identify what region you're in, what is the point of really knowing any of this information? And the point is that some DVD regions online are cheaper than others. So you should always consider potentially ordering from another region DVDs in Region 1. 50 of the Doctor Who DVDs, they are rare and go in for anywhere from 50 to 200, sometimes even $700 and it is crazy. So if you are looking to collect DVDs, do not go this route. If you buy them from Region 2, say, for instance, the DVDs are really cheap, but uh, you do have to factor in shipping costs, but it depends how long you want to wait to collect the 50 rare DVDs in Region 1. There's some great Joyman box sets that are all the seasons with the 6th and 7th Doctors, and uh, yeah, you're gonna find those real cheap too. They're great. The season long box sets, they're beautiful. They're region free. There are some DVDs that are region free. They can play no matter where you are in the world. The join in box sets will link to them. And they have the English dub, so you can understand it. Unless you're join in. In which case, you're gonna wanna leave it where the DVD is. So what I'd suggest to checking out, uh, say, Region 2 DVDs. They're all available, none of them are rare, you don't have to be looking for DVDs and don't. Uh, and that is if you actually want to collect DVDs. If you just want to see Doctor Who episodes, you can check out. There are some on iTunes, but really BritBox is the place to go because you have 90% of the Doctor Who episodes. So it's like 7 bucks a month, and they are not a sponsor yet. It's been a beautiful time talking with all you lovely people. It's amazing that you even waste a minute of your lives uh, just watching my knuckle-headed nephew's videos. It really means a lot to him. Comment down below if you want to see Uncle Hal come back. I'd love to see your beautiful faces again. I'm sure you'd love to see mine, you know. Uh, one last thing to, uh, to Luke's uncle. I got a little something for that mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called glue. Okay, you can go Elmas, you can go Gorilla, you can go duct tape. Private message me. I will make this thing public. Subscribe to uh, Local Reviews 36. 
because he's kind enough to associate himself with my knucklehead and nephew. Once again, subscribe to this wonderful channel for weekly videos every single, what was it now, Saturdays. Oh gosh, he's going to ruin your weekend too. YouTube, it's been great. I'll see you later. My mustache, it appears to be uh, leaving my face faster than my third wife. Where was I going with this? Why was I talking about my nephew? Do you all see that mustache? Yes. I let you be in my video and you give me a bug eye look. This guy. Subscribe. I just noticed I lost my glasses. This is awful. Alright, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Ow. Oh well, that wasn't too bad. I've got something on my face. Yeah, it's called a mustache. Get used to it. They said I should look in the eyebrow tremors and I said for what? Oi, look at this thing. You can open bottles with it. Alright, I have reapplied my food saver, so uh, I'm ready to go again. Cause I bet you didn't. Out <laughs> of this, Alex. <laughs> well, hello there, peoples of the internet. It's good to meet you. Hello oh, there, peoples of the internet. My name is Uncle Patterson. <clears throat> and uh, I couldn't help but notice that uh, Luke's uncle, he was having a bit of a trouble with his mustache. I'll, uh, I'll let you know where I get my glue, okay? We're gonna continue. We're gonna keep pressing on like uh, like I'm doing with my mustache. My knuckle-headed cousin. Well, my knuckle-headed nephew. Slowly but surely coming apart. You have to re-record everything. I have re-record. I put it on the wrong way. Alex, um, the continuity of this, of this mustache is going to be very, very messy. I'm just gonna take a quick break to reapply my mustache. On the Ridge of Doom DVDs, 40% of their cover is missing. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. They just put like rumples. But it, it basically looks like my mustache right now. Okay, 40% of it has left my face. Do you see me buying it over and over and over again saying my, my mustache is better than yours? No, you don't. You see me reapplying it and putting it all on my face. Okay, see how good that looks. If you live in Latin America. Nope, that's Ridge before. I can't read. We gotta be strong though. We gotta be strong. They both think this whole YouTube thing is, is gonna work out. They're gonna be crushed.